here in the middle of the gallery and just look at the ceiling art. Now a young fellow in the top hat there, his very distant cousin of my family, he's called Gingerly Bumstock Hootie and uh, he can be seen there with his then girlfriend Yolandra and Gingerly would often dress up in his small red boiler suit and go out and find poor people in the countryside and then Yolandra would show them a coin. We wouldn't give them the coin, because that would be encouraging the poor people to be greedy. But um, Gingerly wanted to show them what it was like to have a coin. I'm standing in front of one of my favorite pieces of work in the gallery, 100 Mile Walk by Richard Long. It's basically just an account of a walk that Richard went on, and he's done like notes about what happened on the walk. It's really simple, anyone could do it, it's great fun. Although he does say on day three, he sucked icicles from the grass stems. That's dangerous and irresponsible. I've done my own piece. Mine's called a walk before Sunday lunch. And you can see here, it's got basically the route I took from my house down to um, Yolo's Pond and then to the pub, uh, the gun and spatchcock. Now, if you look at the young beggar boy there, actually these days, he would have a number of options open to him. He could form quite a good indie band. Uh, with that hair and his unusual choice of clothing, or he could appear on any number of uh, television talent shows, The Wow Factor, uh, Fame Hunt, Star Wars. But, um, of course, in those days, that wasn't an option. The only thing they had was Pimp My Hay Wayne, and very few people watched that. I think that's terrifically brave to have such a massive snake next to what is really quite a small...